okay, I'm going to show you from the Word of God that God is only one person, okay? Not three persons as the Trinitarian pagans and occultists will say, okay? Every reference has four references to the word person in reference to God, okay? Four times the word person is used in reference to God, and all four are singular, never plural, okay? Turn to Job chapter 13, verses 7 to 8. This is the first time you see the word person used in reference to God. Job 13, verses 7 to 8. Will you speak wickedly for God and talk deceitfully for him? Verse 8. Will you accept his person? Will ye accept his person? Will ye contend for God? Okay? So you have, will you accept his person? Okay? It's a singular usage there. That's the first time the word person is used in reference to God. Second time. Matthew chapter 27, verses 24. Turn there. If you have a King James Bible, turn to Matthew chapter 27, verses 24. When Pilate saw that he could prevail nothing, but rather that tumult, uh, that tumult was made, he took water and washed his hands before the multitude, saying, I am innocent of the blood of this just person, will ye, will ye to it, or see ye to it. Okay, so you have person now in reference to Jesus Christ. Okay. Next reference, which is also a reference to the word person uh, referring to Jesus Christ, 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 10. To whom ye forgive anything, I forgive also. If I forgive uh, anything, to whom I forgive it, for your sakes, it I in the person of Christ. Okay, so Christ is a person. And I'm going to get to the point, but the last scripture where a person using reference to God is Hebrews chapter 1 verses 1 to 3. Hebrews chapter 1 verses 1 to 3. God who at sundry times and in diverse manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets hath in these last days spoken unto us by his son whom he hath appointed the heir of all things by whom also he made the worlds who being the, the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power when he had by himself purged our sins sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high okay so they have express image of his person person being referenced to god the father okay what's the point okay well all four of these references to the word person are referring to god and all four of them are sing you know not plural not persons they're all singular references they're not God in three persons, okay? God is one person. And notice how two of them are referenced to Jesus Christ being a person, and the other two are referring to God the Father being a person. Job chapter 13, verses 7 to 8, and Hebrews chapter 1, 3, okay? What's going on? And notice how verse 3 says that Jesus Christ talking about the Son of God, Jesus Christ talking about, you know, the context is about God's Son, saying that he's the express image of his person, referring to God the Father's person. What's going on? How is God one person? Well, Jesus Christ is the express image of God the Father's person. They're one person, okay? When it says in the person of Christ, yeah, it's one person, okay? Jesus Christ is the express image of God the Father's person. That's why Jesus Christ is also called a person. It's one person, not three persons. And of course, they like to run 1 John 5, 7, which I did a video showing how the Trinitarian proof texts they try to use actually prove the biblical Godhead. And if you read 1 John 5, 7, it does not say, uh, these three persons are one. It just says these three are one because God is one being. Okay, and again, all four of the references to, work, to the word person referring to God are all singular. Are all singular references? Person singular. And Jesus Christ is the express image of God the Father's person. So when you have the person of Christ, because He's the image of God the Father. They're one person. Again, I'm repeating myself, but I'm trying to just knock it into the heads of the Trinitarians. God is not three persons or three different gods that somehow all are three gods, but they're not three gods, they're one God, but they all have the title of God, but it's uh, heretical foolishness. It's philosophy and vain deceit talked about in Colossians 2.8. And it's interesting because Colossians 2.9 says, In him, for in Jesus Christ, dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Because... There's one person, Jesus Christ is the body, and the Father, who is the soul, and the Holy Ghost, who is the spirit, are in that person, because God is one being. So don't be deceived by the Trinitarian, pagan, occultic heresy. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.